Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting me to speak. Uh, my name is Peter McCaffrey. I am co-founder and CTO of Vast Life Sciences, and we're a microbial uh, drug discovery company focusing on natural product identification and advancement of new therapies from the gut microbiome. So I'm excited to talk here at this uh, TWIST conference and describe how we are leveraging technologies like TWIST to really transform how drug discovery works. So first, give a little context about you know, why we do what we do and why we think it's interesting. We've known for a long time that natural products have a cornucopia of medical effects, many of which are very useful and hard to recap in vitro. And the human gut microbiome is no exception to this. In fact, recently, there's been several studies demonstrating the human gut microbiome is related to uh, you know, C. diff infection outcome, chronic illness like diabetes, and really germane to our interest, a response to cancer therapy. And this is because the human gut microbiome has a lot of control over human immunity. And one of the ways in which it does this is by microbes making compounds that essentially drug the human immune system. So our goal is to understand what those are and to see if those might be new drugs that we can use to drug the human immune system to medical advantage. And so these studies have shown different gut microbiota in different patients yield better or worse responses. We've seen this in humans. We've seen this in mice. We've seen this retrospectively and now even prospectively. So the question comes along, how would you find what these things make? And classically, you would take bugs, you'd culture them, find out through mass spec what they produce, maybe clone those genes into a new bug. This is very complicated uh, with lots of challenges that prevent you doing this at scale. Cloning's hard, chemistry's hard, what they make is unclear, how to grow them is unclear, and the list goes on. Yes, it can work, but it's very expensive and not really a scalable strategy for discovery. So we focus on doing this in a way that is more industrialized. So our approach is to look at patients, uh, what gut microbiota they have, what genes those bugs contain, and mine those for what look like promising correlations. Certain patients with good phenotypes like response to therapy or certain immune biomarkers have interesting bugs and bug genes that are abundant in them versus people who don't. So this first clue that we identify tells us maybe these genes make something, maybe they make a drug. We should investigate that. And so instead of taking the route of finding an organism and cloning it and manipulating its genome and doing mass spec in very difficult uh, genetic manipulation exercises, we take a different route. So we aim to go cell-free. So when we find genes that are effectively blueprints for natural products that we don't know yet what the products are, we go to twist. We have these genes synthesized they're wrapped in a promoter system that, uh, that we've consistently used now to do this. So we do them in cell-free expression at large scale with liquid handling robotics. And we profile, you know, did the DNA go in? Did it make RNA? Did it make protein enzymes? Did it make chemicals? And we can do this, you know, a thousand samples at a time, basically. So by doing this, we've industrialized the process of surveying what do the genes make? How do we optimize the yield of what they make? And we do it with sort of the, the consistency of having a controlled system like TWIST to do this in. Finally, these expression products, we move into a, a battery of immunological tests to see what kinds of functions they have. So really, it's about finding genes, printing them via TWIST, setting them up in many reactions, profiling their outputs, and learning continuously on that data. And so we've been doing this now in a lab in San Carlos and also a lab in Shatin in Hong Kong. And we've started with a simple case of GFP and scaled up to now natural products, to terpenoids. We're doing lanthopeptides and many things. And we're doing it without culturing anything. No bugs are involved. No cloning is involved. We're doing it through find the gene, print the gene, express the gene, profile the gene. Because this is so powerful that you can scale exponentially to do it one time, 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, it changes the paradigm of how you search for things. Because the risk of non-success in any one experiment is essentially trivially low if it's cheap to do them. You can do them many, many, many times with many, many different conditions. So this is kind of how vast biome is trying to take what we know about the microbiome's benefit and leverage it really for natural product discovery in a new light. And as we do this more and more and more, we get advantage over the risk curve because not that risk is gone. Risk is always there when you do science. But it's controlled now. We know where it lives. It lives in these exact intermediaries between the gene makes RNA, makes protein, and makes product. And so it's really changed how we can approach a controllable, scalable process for natural product discovery. And it's an exciting future for everyone as these technologies scale, and hopefully many drugs will come out of this. So, so thank you for your time. It's great that we can share this, and uh, I'm excited about the future.